I can't wait for everyone. I've always wondered what happens when Karens are like related to the people they're freaking out on and now I know it. Basically if your mom's a Karen you have a guarantee that she's gonna try to ruin your wedding by freaking out about your wife saying that she loves you for having flaws. Like wh what else do you possibly want your son's wife to say about him other than you have flaws but I love you anyways. You really think your son is flawless. Like, you think this man, the bald man, has never made a mistake in his life, ever. Yeah, you're not even a Karen, bro. You're just on crack, all right? What do we call a Karen on crack? We gotta have a different name for it. It's like a Super Saiyan Karen. Ain't no Hannah you are. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I know that bitch like me. Yeah, I look fresh, oh, I know. What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video and uh, I found this video while browsing reddit the other day of a Karen going ballistic and ruining her own son's wedding and I just knew it would fit perfectly on the channel because that's what we do around here. We make fun of Karens and I feel like it takes a special type of like egocentric, you know, selfish person to ruin your son's wedding under the guise of like being a Karen. But that's exactly what this lady did. So we're going to be watching it and making fun of it today. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. <laughs> You're not going to ruin my You day. are not going to say my okay. son has flaws. <laughs> I feel like saying somebody has flaws is not even that much of a hot take. Like, she's acting like she just said, you know, your son is going to be a constant disappointment thorn in my side and I pity myself for having married them. I'm such a good person for marrying this loser. She's acting like that's what just came out of your mouth. I'm really confused on how this lady's saying, like, I love you for your flaws is at all controversial. That's how you know this lady just has to be the center of attention at all times. Like, the only way she shows up to any function is if she can make it about her. She literally turned unconditional love into her son into an insult somehow. Only Karens are capable of being that stupid. Wow. <laughs> Everybody has flaws and that's why I love them. Yeah. You can leave, yeah. Judy. Like, you don't have flaws. You can leave. This Karen is so delusional. She's really, like, arguing with herself. She's like, yeah, when, when did, when you said you don't have flaws? It's like, I don't know. Nobody. That literally never came out of anyone's mouth. That's a great question. You are literally talking to yourself right now. Nobody knows what you're talking about. Like, she's full on just arguing with herself about stuff people have never said. That's the equivalent of looking in the mirror and being like, no, Barack Obama, you tell those kids they're going back to school. It's like, no matter how long you sit there and say that, Barack Obama's not arguing with you. That was just never said. You're just being delusional. What is the point of this? You can get out of my wedding now. I'm not leaving. Yes, that dress you you're wearing, I paid for. Okay. Huh? Uh, I feel like this is a really bad way to start a relationship with your new daughter-in-law. Like, literally screaming at her during the wedding for no reason. I paid for that dress, so I'm not leaving. Well, if you can't keep your mouth shut, there's not gonna be a wedding to finish because, uh, you know the whole, like, be quiet or forever hold your peace thing, or speak now or forever hold your peace? Yeah, that's what you're doing. So unless you wanna marry your son, how about you shut your mouth and let me do it, you know what I'm saying? Like, if this was really what my, you know, mother-in-law decided to do while I was saying vows, my daughter doesn't have flaws. I'm like, all right, well, I'm out. It's been an honor, uh, pleasure almost marrying you. See you never. Get out. Yeah, I don't know who Tony is, but this is just really not a good time. Like, let's say you got beef with what people are saying during the wedding. Uh, maybe just keep it quiet to like the reception, you know, when they're not literally getting married, like in the middle of the ceremony, dude, the preacher's up there like, oh my golly, I've never had a ceremony quite like this. Oh Lord Jesus, these 2020 times are trying, amen. You couldn't just keep your mouth shut for like 30 more seconds till it was done and then started a fight like outside with the bride? Come on. I understand you're a selfish piece of poo poo who's just trying to make the day all about you, but can you at least calm down till the wedding is done? Everybody's trying to have a good time. Let's respect the wedding. I'm not leaving. Show some respect. 
Well, just, just hold your you peace. Show yeah. like, you have your daughter to Let's just calm down. Let's say, hey, hey, we don't need this. This is this this is we don't peace. need this. I really don't even understand who she's trying to impress. Like, this is a COVID wedding. There's maybe 12 people there. Half of them already don't like you, and you just pissed off another half. So maybe three people are still on your side. Like, it's not even like this is a wedding with 8,000 people there where there's a bunch of eyes on you. You're literally freaking out and causing this much drama for, you know, four people to be slightly impressed by you, maybe. And of those four, three of them think you're slightly mentally unhinged and now they're just afraid to piss you off. It's not even like they respect you. I give that man $500 because he wants to live uh, high and mighty. Is she okay? Like, like genuinely, is she having a stroke right now? What is she talking about? She really just went from like, you're not gonna say that my son has flaws. I paid for that dress. Now she's just pointing at random dudes like sitting in the audience. I've given you $500. It's like, all right, you got anyone else at this wedding you wanna have beef with? Speak now or forever hold your peace with everybody, okay? Cause nobody's trying to hear you talk for the rest of the night. Imagine the poor guy's just sitting there and he's like, man, if I would've known that if I took out a loan, you would embarrass me at my kid's wedding. I would. I've never asked for any of this. And like, really? You're, you're, oh, I gave him $500 because he wants to live large. What living large are you doing with $500? Like, are you living in a trailer park in Alabama? That's the only place where $500 makes you live large. If you gave anybody else $500, they'd be like, wow, I can afford half an apartment for a month. Who is living large on $500? Honestly, tell me how you do it because I'm trying to be as frugal as you. Please tell me how to live large on $500. I'm begging. My budget right now is, you know, 2% um, of my money goes to my bills. 98% goes to my Beanie Baby collection. You guys know as an investment. <laughs> oh my God. God. This is not your day. Honestly, if I was the girl in this situation, I'd really be having second thoughts about marrying into this family, dude. Like, do you actually want to deal with this at every holiday? Do you actually want every Thanksgiving to consist of Barbara Hare critiquing your mashed potatoes for 45 minutes? Like, if I was this dude, I would have asked my mom not to come because this whole wedding is in jeopardy now because she is making you look like your genes are not very good for reproducing. It's not about you. She's in love with your son. Okay, let's accept it. Honey, she's using my son. Honey, throw us the camera. Let's <laughs> Uh, 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 what have you chose? Honestly, uh, karma for sure is gonna make this couple have like a fantastic life. You know that whatever comes next is, is just them honestly getting the bag because God's gonna be like, I'm really sorry for giving you a mom that nuts. Could you imagine the stories that this dude has from growing up? Like this is she how she is acting at her son's wedding in front of her family and friends. Like th this is how she's acting in a place where she's expected to make a good impression. That is how she's talking to her daughter-in-law. Can you imagine how she talks to a manager in a Costco when a sale doesn't ring up correctly? Like, my God, managers within 80 miles of this woman have to quiver whenever they see her car in the parking lot because, Jesus, she seems terrifying. And that's not to say she's not ridiculous. Like, I'm not saying she's scary the same way that, like, a lion trying to eat you is scary. If I wasn't a manager, like, square up, Karen. Come on, start throwing insults and lows, and I'll tell you how to go get a better haircut, all right? Go stick your head in a lawnmower. That would be an improvement. But, like, man, imagine if you had to listen to this chick. You're the manager of a Target, and she's losing it. That's just a rough lifestyle. Take a moment of silence for all those managers. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, on that note, I'm pretty sure that's gonna do it for the video. If you enjoyed, I would appreciate you pressing the like button, commenting down below. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe to. I upload videos like this pretty damn often, so, uh, you don't wanna miss it. Turn on notifications if you're subscribing, cause, you know, you're pressing the button anyway, so YOLO. If you like what I gotta say, if you enjoy my hot takes, my social medias are, uh, my Twitter, at Scrubby underscore 69. My Instagram is just at Scrubby, cause I'm that OG, you know how it goes. This channel is getting close to 100k, so big thank you for that. If you enjoyed the intro song, you thought it was a banger, a link will be down below to the Spotify link. Go ahead and check it out if you want. If not, no pressure. And if you really like the channel, uh, go ahead and check out the merch as well. A link is going to be down there. And uh, because recently I decided to do like the membership thing and set up some reward tiers and stuff, I'm just going to plug that real quick, so click off if not. Basically, for like 2 3 or $10 a month, I think, there's different tiers. You can get a little verified check mark next to your name here on the channel and get some perks like a shout out at the end of every video normally once I get a list of names exclusive live streams all that stuff and that's it you want to support the channel more there's no pressure at all if you don't do it like I don't think less of you I'm still gonna make videos it's not the end of the world
world. But if that's something you want to do, then uh, yeah, check it out. And on that note, don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time with another video. I'm out. Peace.